Hi, friends. Today we are going to continue our conversation about silent reflux, elimination diet, and food sensitivities. And today I will touch different topic on wheat, eggs, and nuts, because ex-patient of mine, when she saw this video on dairy products, she wrote to me and she said, hey, do you remember me? I was the one who has a problem with an eggs. I, sh I sure do remember you. So let's start. When we are talking about food sensitivity, the number one offender is usually dairy. Number two is wheat. Number three is eggs and almonds. When you talk about sensitivity, you will be seeing in my videos and also in all literature, sensitivity and intolerance, they use, um, they use one or another term. However, you have to be very clear in your mind that sensitivity is not the same as food allergy. Allergy means you put shrimp into, shrimp into your mouth and it's immediately red, inflamed. If you swallow that, you will have a skin rush everywhere, extremely itchy and also difficulties to breathe. Patient will have on the laboratory work, high level of immunoglobulins E means IgE. Food sensitivity is IgG. I used to do for patients through the Quest Diagnostics, IgG, and I make sure that you watch very carefully, otherwise Quest Diagnostics substitute your IgG with IgE, and you order that specifically, that the order have to say IgG wheat, IgG egg yellow, IgG egg white, almonds, or IgG dairy, otherwise they will do it incorrectly, and it will cost you without health insurance coverage about $40 per item. So symptoms that usually have uh, people have with food sensitivity or intolerance. There are digestive complaints, such as diarrhea, bloating, gas, constipation, abdominal pain, could be nausea, and sure acid reflux. And the most common is more acid reflux. It's silent reflux. Also, there are extra digestive tract complications, such as rushes, head, rushes headache, uh, runny nose. And let's go to the blackboard, and I will explain you why that happens. Here, I already pre-drew for us my favorite picture of digestive tract. So this is your mouth with the teeth, stomach, this one, and small intestine is that one. When you put the food here into your digestive tract, the purpose of digestive tract to break it down in small, smallest particles. And eventually when you break them in the smallest particles, they're supposed to get absorbed through the digestive tract into the bloodstream. And this red is your bloodstream. When you have a food sensitivity, somehow some types of food, it could be wheat or dairy is not getting broken down. So they remain as a big pieces. And what happened, if they are not broken down, they go through the digestive tract and they irritate the digestive tract. As a result, lining of the digestive tract and parasites that are supposed to be nice and healthy and they don't have a gaps between them. Okay, they become very unhealthy. So that's called, a, this one is a called tight junction. They become unhealthy and they look like that. And the most important is gaps get formed between them. And through this gap, this piece of undigested digested food gets through and it gets right into your bloodstream. Here we go. This piece of undigested food, it could be wheat or dairy or egg, is floating here in the bloodstream and it doesn't belong there. Immune system looks at that and says, oh, this is a foreign body. So let me get attacked. And it starts to produce antibody because this foreign piece of protein is antigen, antigen, and this immune system produces antibody. So it forms a complex called antigen-antibody complex, this one or this one. This antigen-antibody complex is not belong in the bloodstream, and it will go with the bloodstream into different organs. It's too big to be excreted through the uh, kidney, it may end up in a different organs. Let's say it goes and it's ended up in your skin. So here is your skin. This antigen antibody complex gets deposited right here and stays there. Immune system looks at that and says, oh, there is a foreign body here in the skin and start to attack this antigen antibody complex. 
immune system attacking skin as a result on the surface use of the skin. You see this as an eczema and that's your autoimmune condition. This antigen antibody complex can go into different organs. Suppose it's decided that it will settle here in your joint. Here is your joint. This is two bones and this is the soft tissues of joint. If it gets deposited here, it stays here, immune system again looks at that and says, oh, there is a foreign body here in the joint. Let's attack that. And it's attack actually connective tissue of the joint and it's eventually the joint start to deteriorate. And that's how rheumatoid arthritis can happen. So question is, do I have a food sensitivity? And the answer is going to be yes, if you have any digestive complaints or any autoimmune condition. So how to deal with that? I already said that you can do the laboratory test immunoglobulins G, but the best way to do it is elimination diet. So eliminate suspected food. It could be eggs, it could be wheat, it could be dairy. Eliminate it for three or four weeks. And watch clinically, what kind of improvement are you going to have? And do it one item at a time. This is essential, guys. One item at a time so you can differentiate. So you eliminated eggs and you say, in three weeks, I produce less, less mucus. My um, acid reflex is less. I don't do that <clears throat> because I don't have a mucus behind there. My eczema gets better or I have less, become less gassy or um, I don't have a diarrhea. And then after four weeks of elimination diet, what you do, you introduce the food back to confirm that you have food sensitivity exactly to that food. So you get better and then you introduce that offensive food again. And then body would let you know. Clinically, you will start to have abdominal pain. You will have to start acid reflex. Your eczema gets worse. Uh, arthritis gets worse. So that's how you check for food sensitivity. And that's the basic way to treat it, elimination. Uh, and if you have more guys questions about that, please ask, subscribe. That's it for now. Thank you. Bye-bye.